What's going on, everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller here still uh, in this beautiful new set piece. Um, I'm actually still in the office. This is actually literally just a set piece. We've moved in a bunch of plants. We've taken the roof off the office. And um, yeah, we're just balling here at the Time Teller channel. Woo! I'm just kidding, guys. I'm in my backyard because they're doing construction in the office and I don't wanna be filming in the epicenter of uh, where all the construction is going on. So just bear with me. We should be done um, hopefully here in like the next week or so. But today we're gonna be going over a little bit of a rant. So you will recall uh, the last episode I uploaded was uh, 10 things I don't want to see in 2021. That was a little bit of a heated episode as well. And I'm still uh, kind of heated because I actually just filmed that episode literally a minute ago. I'm filming this episode as well. So you, my heart rate is still up. I'm still upset and I'm still angry. So let's rant. It's 1.58 PM. Let's get down to business. <laughs> Oh God, I love my viewers guys. Um, and I love my followers over on Instagram because you guys give me the funniest tips about watches that I need to rant about, watchmakers that I need to rant about. And I use watchmaker very loosely because a lot of these companies, they're not really producing these watches. They're, they're just copies, ripoffs, carbon copies, replicas, just terrible overpriced garbage. So shout out to one of my viewers who sent me an item from the company Buck Mason. Now I've never heard of them. Seems like a lot of their items are fairly pricey. Um, let's take a look at their gift guide. Oh yeah, they have a uh, vintage thermal surplus tee for $62. So if you want like a vintage surplus t-shirt, oh, don't go to your local surplus store where you can find like a bin of them for five bucks a pop. No, no, no. Buy it from Buck Mason, the trench Venice wash for $62. Gosh, or how about a hoodie? You guys like hoodies, right? It's getting chilly here. Anytime it drops below like 75 degrees in Los Angeles, I uh, I freak out. Okay, so I'm wearing a hoodie right now. I think it's like 70 degrees outside, but what about like an $85 hoodie? How about that? Well, you wanna spend 85 bucks on a hoodie? Well, Buck Mason's got you then. You got 85 bucks burning a hole in your pocket? Go for it. And guys, you know I love jeans. I'm wearing jeans right now. I don't know what you can see, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I almost fell off my chair. Um, I'm just a Levi's guy. You know, I'm, I, it's, I'm a simple man, okay? A hoodie, I got some denim on, a big deal. I've been known to wear Red Wings as well. And I think that um, during my live streams, when I talk about Red Wing boots, I'm, I'm a big fan of Red Wing. Uh, people think I'm also like one of these denim snobs. I don't know anything about other materials like Red Wing. They have good leather. They make a really nice boot. I have, I think like four or five pairs. I'll probably have them for the rest of my life because they're constructed so nicely. And I know a little bit about leather because of uh, watch straps. I know what I like. I know what I don't like, but I'm not like some craftsman, I'm not a cobbler. I'm not a strap maker. I'm not a leather worker. And I definitely don't know anything about denim, but I do know that spending $145 on slim jeans for Japanese denim, it's a little bit outside my wheelhouse. I think these Levi's that I have on are like 60 bucks and I complain about that when I when I have to buy new pants. I'm like, oh, really? And Connie's like, there are holes in them. And I'm like, but no one can see because I, they see me from the nipples up, big deal. I might not be wearing pants one day. And she's like, you have to wear new pants. You've been farting and it's burning a hole through your pants. Just kidding. <laughs> Vulgar jokes. My mom's gonna be so proud of me when she sees this episode. And guys, listen, there's nothing more enjoyable than that whole trucker aesthetic. You know, truckers, they're cool, tough men. They're laid back, they're casual. And uh, I think my favorite thing about truckers is how they wear like $500 jackets. I mean, according to Buck Mason, they do. Their full grain trucker jacket is $495. Truckers are balling, dude. But okay, I know you guys are like, get to the point. What, why are you Why are you complaining about expensive apparel? Big deal. Well, Buck Mason also has a watch. Now I wouldn't really consider them a watchmaker because you know, we've just taken a look at all their other things that they sell. They sell an SKX. What's worse though, is that it's just an SKX homage. And this has taken the place of where the SKX was because again, you know, the 5KX, SKX got bumped off and now we have the Buck Mason. So the SKX is off the table. If you want something that looks like the SKX, you can either choose the 5KX 
or this Buck Mason. I'm gonna keep repeating it, the 5KX or the Buck Mason. Now Gato, throw the prices up beneath them. Now you see why I'm gonna, why I'm gonna get angry. Now I'm gonna get angry. $895 for an homage of a $200 watch. Wow. Now to add to the pomposity of this watch, it's known as the Mulholland Explorer. Now for those of you who aren't from Southern California, Mulholland is a very uh, famous road, okay? I enjoy driving my cars down Mulholland. It's very scenic and it's very fun driving through the canyon and so on and so forth. Very hoity-toity, very Los Angeles. The Mulholland ex <sighs> I keep wanting to gag. Do you know why? Because I saw the spec sheet. 7S26 movement, baby, woo! I've never complained about that movement because I think it's better than most people say it is. Do I think it's $895 better? No. And hold up, hold up, it gets even better. Apparently, according to their spec sheet, the crystal is Hardlex. Oh my God, they just bought up a bunch of SKXs and changed the dial. You are buying a modded SKX for $895 and they couldn't even put a Sapphire on it. Now, what a surprise guys. Uh, there are no customer reviews because I don't think anyone's stupid enough to buy this. It doesn't come on a bracelet, it comes on a NATO strap. It has like a mil sub dial aesthetic. So it has those big broad hands, patinated indexes, uh, the T, like the tritium T on the dial. So the dial and handset screams mil sub, but the case uh, just screams SKX, um, but you're gonna be spending right around $900 for it. With tax, it's going to be closer to a thousand for a modded SKX. No sapphire. Literally, they've changed the dial, the bezel insert, and the handset, and that is it. This is exactly what's wrong with companies that are not watchmakers selling watches. This is almost worse than Bapex. I'm not kidding. At least Bape is like not even trying to hide the fact that this is just like a BS, like wannabe Rolex replica. Like, that was funny to rant about, but this is actually much, much worse. Giving it a name like Mulholland Explorer and then writing a stupid paragraph about how, oh, the uh, military diver is so prolific. Seiko has been making blah, 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 blah. I don't care. You're giving us a watch that was $200 and you're selling it for almost a thousand. That's a spit in our faces as if we're that stupid. So check it out yourselves, guys. But this is exactly like... I'm gonna say something that I never thought I would say. You should buy a 5KX before you buy one of these Buck Masons. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take it a step further. Buy this Buck Mason, get a Seiko SKX dial and handset and insert, throw that on to this Buck Mason watch and then sell it as an SKX for $2,000. That's how we're gonna manipulate the watch market prices. That's what we're gonna do. Hell yeah. We're gonna weaponize this. This is, oh my gosh chaos. So guys, let me know what you think about this. Again, special thanks to my viewer who sent this over to me. Uh, I'm going to withhold your name because I, because some people don't want to be mentioned online, but I really do thank you. And I read, uh, as many messages as I can every day. And I get about a few hundred every day. So guys, if I don't get back to you and you write to me in my various inboxes, just bear with me. Um, I'm not trying to say, Oh, I'm, I'm so popular. It's just, I'm doing the best I can. So thank you. If there's something you really wanna see me rant about, you know that it's gonna make me explode, then go ahead and uh, send it to my inbox over on Instagram at The Simple Consultant, or you can email me over at info at the Time Teller Shop and we'll do our best uh, to get my eyes on it. And hopefully, um, if it's something that's really gonna make my blood boil, of course, I will yell into the camera for you guys. So uh, I enjoyed talking about this one. Hopefully none of you are stupid enough to buy this. And uh, if you did buy it, you know what? Send it over to me so I can review it and uh, I'll put it up against my SKX that I paid $200 for. All right, guys, join the channel. Check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thank you so much for your support and I hope you enjoy your weekend. And uh, next week I might be filming out here or we might be back in the office. I don't know yet. All right, like, comment, subscribe, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.